Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new and this is your first time watching any of my content, hi, my name is Nandi and I am the creative, the driving force, the woman behind Bujos and Tapes. Today's video is basically my October monthly plan with me where I set up my bullet journal spreads for the month of October. And this month's theme is Tom and Jerry. Just, I felt like taking it back to my childhood. Like, this theme gives me Sunday morning, sitting in front of the TV, watching Tom and Jerry on 302. Oh, my DSTV babes, you know that channel? I can't remember what it was before it was 302. But yeah, watching 302 in your pajamas with a gown just watching looney tunes that's that's what this this monthly is giving me set up my monthly spread changes from month to month depending on what i want and you know what my needs for that specific month are but for this month i decided to do a traditional calendar view of the month with my boxes for the month being three boxes across and five boxes going down moving from a b5 to an a5 has has really been like a an exercise in patience because i now need to read on how to squeeze everything back into like a smaller page but hopefully your girl will figure it out because yeah i'm in a5 now i'm an a5 babe so i gotta make this shit work but yeah um in my monthly overview i decided to include a habit tracker this time like i usually do my habit tracker separately by itself but like i didn't feel like going through the hassle of setting up a separate habit tracker and like having to decorate it and everything so i decided to include my habit tracker in my monthly overview to one save time and two save space my monthly overview was tis 
spooky season because it's October and it's Halloween. Although I don't celebrate Halloween, I, I enjoy the spirit of Halloween. I enjoy the movies. I enjoy just, I just, I, I enjoy the spirit of Halloween. So I was like, mm, okay, okay. Tis the spooky season. <laughs> things that you're grateful for each and every single day because sometimes we get so lost in our heads and you don't realize the things that you have that are blessings that you don't take for blessings because you know you're used to them you're like eh they're just there but like these things are blessings so I make sure that I include a gratitude tracker in all my monthly so that I basically write down you know things that I'm grateful for and I decided to also do a really big, a really big, <laughs> I decided to do a really big gratitude quote because, again, I'm moving from a B5 to an A5. And I usually have space at the bottom of my gratitude log to write down, to write in, rather, my quote for my gratitude spread. But this time, I decided to do it as a big spread on the side that basically says... I don't know why I keep on saying basically, but the, <laughs> the quote says, have an attitude for gratitude. And I, I also took it as a chance for me to practice my lettering because, you know, you got to practice your lettering, baby. You, you got to make sure you know how to letter. And I'm still trying to learn how to do lettering with like, you know, like brush pens. I still don't know how to do that yet. So I do like, you know, the cheat code of lettering where you do the outline and then you fill it in the way you know it would come out with a brush pen
planner for you know the content that I put up on YouTube and Instagram and um, I also set it up in, in, in the traditional calendar view with like the box with the month and everything and this time my boxes we still three across and six going down this time because you know I needed space to write in all the little things that I will need to keep track of with my content with my content upload and on the next page I included a list view of the things that I am going to upload with the days of the month going down so that I slot in the separate things that I need to upload on the day so yeah I'm still trying to find a content planner that works for me. I think this is my third try and I haven't really found what works for me yet. But that's the beauty of bullet journaling. You, you're always evolving. You're always, you know, finding things that work for you because you have the freedom and the flexibility to do that. spread i decided to combine these this month because you know your daily thoughts and your mood tracker basically work hand in hand they go together what you you thought about the day is usually how you're going to end up feeling you know about how the day went so i decided to merge them into one spread Are the dreamers of dreams <laughs> outside and then the big box is where I write down my thoughts for the day and then the little box at the end is where I put in the symbol for how I felt about that day. <music> extreme positive and wah <laughs> which is the extreme negative and then meh is like the in-between feeling it's, it's not good it's not bad it's just eh.
spread that I set up was my weekly spread for the week of the 11th going to the 17th and yeah again this was a practice and patience because you don't realize how much space a b5 has well you do but like when you move to like an a5 you like you realize how much space you had in your b5 and trying to fit everything that i put up on like my b5 weekly spreads or any of the spreads that i set up on my b5 has just it really is an exercise in patience but hopefully by the time i set up my third spread my third weekly spread i'd have figured out you know i'd have remembered how i used to do it when i had an a5 and i'd have found a spread that works for me i don't really know how i feel about the spread i'm just i'm there i'm just eh about it like I, I i set up a spread because i needed a spread for this week but yeah hopefully by the time i set up my 18th to the 21st spread i out you know i'd have found something that works better for me but yeah so how i usually do it is i do the days of the week which start on sunday because i start my weeks on a sunday I, people start weeks on a monday are just weird sunday is the start sunday is the bringing that's where the week starts <laughs> so i start my week on a sunday and it ends on a saturday and i usually include a little calendar view of the month and highlight the week that i'm at and i include a task list or a to-do list or whatever you want to call it i decided to name it a task list this time around but i might change it to a to-do list i might change it to a note it really depends on how i'm feeling that day up coloring in tom and jerry on the cover page but yeah this is my setup for the month of october i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you're interested in seeing how the rest of my october monthly spreads turned out please don't forget to follow me on my instagram account which is the same name as my youtube account and please don't forget to like subscribe comment and also follow me on instagram as well so that you never miss any content from me thank you again for watching my video and i will see you in the next one